It's been 22 months. Wow. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lydia. If you're new here, I have been on my keto journey for exactly 22 months. I've been committed and have been on this journey without any planned like cheats or off weekends or anything like that for exactly 22 months. I am going to let you know how many pounds I've lost up to date and what the journey has been like so far. So I started off my journey at my all time high of 265 pounds. I'm five foot three. So 265 pounds on this body really weighed me down, so to speak. I was at a size 22, 24 and I was uncomfortable in my own skin. I was very uncomfortable in my own body. I couldn't breathe when I slept at night. I would literally choke myself <laughs> with my overweightness, with my fat while I slept. My neck was so big that when I slept on my back, I would stop breathing in the middle of the night and my husband would have to wake me up and let me know that I stopped breathing in the middle of the night. I found it difficult to walk anywhere. Um, or to go upstairs, like to get on an airplane because I didn't know how small the seats were gonna be, to go watch a show in a theater because those theater seats were pretty narrow and I wasn't sure if it was gonna fit me. So there were a lot of challenges that I faced when I was at my heaviest when I decided to make a change and to lose the weight. Not exactly sure if there was a moment that a defining moment that said this time was going to be different i think i had tried keto before and i had gotten off on the weekend i had a cheat weekend and i couldn't really get back on and then i tried it again and i was good for three months then i had a cheat weekend and i gained back all the weight that i had lost in those three months and i just felt like i was broken like obviously something's not working i can't do it you know, maybe I'm destined to be this size forever. And a friend of mine and his wife had recently had lost like 50 pounds on keto. They were looking fantastic. And I was like, yeah, I tried it, but I don't think it works for me because I keep gaining and losing the same 30 pounds. And he goes, well, let me help you. Let me help you stay on the straight and narrow and let me help you be accountable on this journey. And that's what made me continue and to really go for it. I'm like, okay, well, if I have somebody who's checking in with me, who I've got to let know how much I weigh every week or how much I've lost or gained or whatever, like maybe this time will be different. Maybe if I don't allow myself a cheat day, maybe this time will be different. And so I really try to problem solve and figure out what didn't work in the beginning and how to make it work this time around. It's been 22 months. Months, my goal was to get down to 150 pounds and then about four months ago five months ago I decided to kind of alter that and try and shoot for 140 pounds um, so that would make it 125 pounds lost total and I wasn't sure you know I was like I'd just be happy to lose 100 pounds and I'll be happy to get down to 150 and then if at all possible I'd love to be able to get down to 140 but I don't know if it is possible. So that's kind of how the journey began. So in the very beginning of my keto journey, I did not track macros. I didn't count anything. I just eliminated my carbs, my simple carbs, my, my white flour carbs. I didn't have any potato chips or bread or potatoes or carrots or anything that was high in carbs. I just kind of got rid of that. And I wasn't sure if I was doing this keto thing right. I wasn't sure if I'm supposed to be adding in fats or not adding in fats. And there were so many different things that were out there teaching you about keto. And some people were saying to add the fats. Some people were saying, no, the fat is going to be burned off of your body. So I wasn't exactly sure if I was doing was correct or not. I was adding in healthy fats like avocados. I was doing bulletproof coffees in the beginning, adding butter, ghee, uh, butter or ghee, uh, MCT oil. I was doing all of this stuff. And then around four months ago, I decided to kind of make a change. So I decided to start tracking my macros. I joined a group that prioritizes 
protein on their keto journey. And I got my macros off of their site, their group site, and which gave me the 1231, the 110, 79, and 20 carbs. And they do dirty keto, but they prioritize protein. So as long as you're hitting that protein, which is a higher number, and not really hitting your fat if not needed, and definitely staying under 20 net carbs a day, you should find success. So that's what I've been doing for the past four months. And I've been trying to increase my activity, my movement, my steps. I started going to the gym the first part of the year and I kind of stopped that and started using the treadmill here at home or going for walks during the soccer practice, practices that my son has. And so trying to just stay active and increase my steps, you know, those baby steps of let me just move more and then see if I can gradually go into some kind of fitness or, you know, workout plan or something. So when I first weighed in on my keto weight loss journey, I was 265 pounds. This morning I weighed in and I weigh 176.2. So that is a loss of, we'll say 89 pounds. I'm 0.2 away to hit 89 pounds, 88.8 pounds away. So I'm almost at 90. When I get to 165, I'll be at 100 pounds loss, which it feels like it's never going to get here for how long it's taken, 22 months, and I am not there yet. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing wrong, but weekly I keep changing things up, adding things in and out, simplifying my meals, planning everything, tracking everything. I'm trying to do everything to kind of figure out what's working for me and what's not working for me. I've so far on this journey, I've lost 11 inches on my bust. I've lost 17 and a half inches on my waist. I've lost nine inches on my lower ab. I've lost four and a half inches on my upper thighs. I've lost four and a half inches on my arms. I've lost two inches on my neck. And I lost an overall of 89 pounds. I have gone down in sizes, half my size. My heaviest, I was wearing a size 22, 24. Currently, I am purchasing clothes in a size 12. Overall, I'd like to be, I think an eight, which would be about 20 pounds, 25 pounds to go. Um, so, I don't know, I think once I get there, I may be like, hmm, what does a six look like? So, <laughs> I'd just be happy to just take it down a next size, take it down a next size. I notice about 10 pounds is a size for me. So if I lose 10 more pounds, I may be going into a size 10. Uh, so I'm hoping when I hit my 100 pounds loss, when I hit 165 pounds, I might be venturing off into a size 10. Don't know when that's gonna happen. I feel like this journey is literally taking my entire life. <laughs> so it has been almost two years. I'd love to at least hit my 100 pounds lost uh, by my two year anniversary, which will be in exactly two more months. So I don't know, we'll see if it's possible to lose 11 pounds in the next two months. I mean, at this rate, I'm averaging about four pounds. Oh yeah, let me tell you what I weighed in last month. So I weighed in last month and I was at 180 pounds and today I'm at 176.2. So I'm at 3.8 pounds for the month. My inches are exactly the same. So I didn't lose any inches anywhere throughout my body, but I did go down 3.8 pounds. I can't be too mad about that because that's almost about a pound a week. Um, I would love to get that whole, you know how they say the healthy weight loss is one to two pounds a week. I've yet to see two pounds consistently per week in a very, very, very long time. Uh, right now I'm just averaging a 0 0.4, 0 0.5 pound every week and it's taking me forever to get down to where I need to go. So at this rate, if I lose four more pounds in the next month and four more pounds in the next month, I may be able to hit 100 pounds loss by my two year anniversary. I'm gonna hope for that. That's gonna be my short term goal and we'll see how that goes. All right, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. How far along are you on your weight loss journey? I'd love to hear about it. Post it in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to do that now and I will see you in the next one. Bye.